arrived in Makassar to begin our seven-day Sulawesi road trip. Here's our guide, Mursalim, on the right, and our trusted driver, Josef, to the left. We set out traveling east along the southern coast highway, headed towards Bira and the boatyards of Tana Baru. Such cool houses. One stop shopping. Mosk top shop. For lunch, we picked our own snappers out of a styrofoam cooler. Delish. We pulled over at a group of roadside stands selling fancy imported apples. Salim recommended we stop to get some special sweets, golden brown cakes filled with fresh coconut. Salt evaporation ponds. They sold it by the sack. They were drying seaweed by the side of the road. It's growing on ropes suspended from buoys. We heard music from across the street and we went to investigate. An excited crowd was celebrating a wedding. I'm not sure if the ceremony had taken place yet or not. I followed Celine to see the band holding forth under the house next door. Miguel pointed out decorative golden wedding banners. The band consisted of two drummers and two horn players. Sally danced provocatively to the great amusement of the crowd. As we later found out, this wedding was a relatively humble affair. We arrived at the boatyards of Tana Baru. This is the home of the most skillful sailors and boat builders of all Indonesia. These traditional boats are constructed without any blueprints whatsoever. The side planking is constructed first and the framing later. Wood is getting more difficult to find. Here's an example of the finished product. On the boatyard beach, this man was digging sandworms for fish bait. The next morning brought another exciting day on the road. We stopped at a rubber plantation. Then we came across another wedding. We were invited in. 
By the look of the decorations, it was obvious this event was more of town. Here's where the newlywed couple will sit to be admired. These chairs are for the guests to sit and admire the newlywed couple. In fact, preparations were underway. Ladies were one happy group. Mother in law. Men sat inside. We never got to see the bride and groom. Time for a coffee stop. Sally wanted to follow me into the restroom. I said, better not so. A quick stop by the local market. Tuna. Crabs individually wrapped. Stewed fish. Smoked backbones and tuna. Political posters were everywhere. It was election time and the candidates were running hard. In fact, it was the only product advertised on roadside billboards. There's more than a dozen parties, all run on the same platform anti corruption, clean government. Party number five. Each party must run 33% female candidates. Wow. No sooner were we back on the road than we came across wedding number three. And this time the party was in full swing. The exchange of vows, or the process as some people call it, takes place in private. Then, the newly married couple comes out and makes their grand appearance. This lady sang the ABC song in English. The life of the party this is the bride's pretty but tragically bucktooth sister. The gorgeous bride. We took a scary ride in a very skinny boat to Lake Tempe. The destination was a sunset visit to the famous floating fishing village in the middle of the lake. After the rainy season, the lake dries up almost completely.
stopped briefly in the port of Palopo before heading into the highlands towards Taracha. More seaweed farmers. These crazy contraptions are fishing boats. They fish at night. They lower the nets and use bright lights to draw the fish to the boat. Then the nets suspended from outriggers are lifted up, hopefully filled with fish. October is the favorite month for a wedding in Sulawesi. Here's the last one I intended. snapper and all the trimmings, $25. Fabulous island with the sweetest, most friendly, and hospitable people you could ever hope to find. 